Hi everyone, I'm Walker and welcome back to All About Nails, where we talk about vegan nail polish brand reviews, um, vegan nail polish comparisons to help you build the best vegan nail polish collection for you. Today we're going to be talking about a limited edition release from Zoya, the Jelly Brights Trio, so stay tuned and don't miss it. So this limited edition trio um, came with three polishes. We have Molly, Paris, and Aaliyah. And these three polishes are a classic jelly formula. They're super glossy, um, a little bit transparent, but really easy to build up. So I'm gonna show you swatches of myself building those up. And then I'll also show you swatch photos of the three polishes on my nails. So you can see what they look like on my skin tone. And at the end, I'll tell you a little bit about which ones I loved and which ones you should add to your collection. If you like this video, you like comparisons of Zoya nail polishes, definitely don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on the next ones. So let's talk about these three polishes. Um, the first one here is Molly, and Molly is a red, pink jelly polish, and I think this one um, looks more red the more you build it up, so we'll see that in the swatch photos in just a second. The second one is Paris, and Paris is a fuchsia jelly polish, and similarly I think you get more and more pink, more and more fuchsia as you build this one up. And then my personal favorite of this little trio was this one. This is Aaliyah. This is a plum jelly polish, and I don't know that this one is kind of an iconic summer shade for me, but I really did like this one. I um, can see myself wearing it maybe even to work a lot um, in the fall, in the cooler months. I think this one will be really nice to have in my collection. Okay, so let's dive into some swatches. Um, you can see here the first coat of Aaliyah going on, and this one I found to be the streakiest first coat of the three. Um, I think just because it's that darker color, it was a little bit harder to get it even. So this is the first coat of Aaliyah. Okay, and here's the first coat of Molly, and it looks pretty pink here. Um, this is only the first coat. It is really even, so there's not a lot of streakiness, um, but it does definitely pull a lot more pink than red in this first coat. Here's the first coat of Paris, again that fuchsia color. Um, it looks pretty similar to Molly on the first coat here. They're both pretty white, pretty pink, and similarly this one was really even, not streaky, so I found Molly and Paris to be the best kind of first coat of these jelly polishes. All right, so here's the second coat of Aaliyah. And honestly, I think you could leave this one at two coats if you wanted to. It evens out really nicely. You have a pretty nice saturation of color, um, but it's still pretty transparent. So if you're looking for that kind of light jelly finish, you might really like this one just at two coats. Here's the second coat of Molly. And with the second coat, you can see it starts to bring out a lot more of the red in this polish. It starts to distinguish itself a little bit more from Paris. So there's two coats of Molly. Okay, and here's the second coat of Paris. And similarly with the second coat, you're gonna see a lot more of that fuchsia color. It's gonna come out a lot more pink um, and start to look a little bit more different from Molly. All right, and with the third coat of Aaliyah, honestly, this one is pretty much opaque. You could probably do a fourth coat if you need to, but I really liked the intensity of color that I got from this third coat. Here's the third coat of Molly. Same thing, you get a lot more of that red, really intense color, um, super glossy, really, really beautiful. And the third coat of Paris brings out a lot more of that kind of hot pink fuchsia shade. Um, you can see here that now it looks definitely different from Molly, which is really nice. You have three totally different, but totally gorgeous, glossy jelly polishes. Awesome. Um, so those are my swatches of these three polishes. I honestly liked all three of them. If you're looking for something super summery, you want something, you know, really ready for those super hot July, August days, I think these two, Molly and Paris, are perfect. They're really, really gorgeous. Um, they're really bright. Leah was definitely my favorite. I think it's just more in the palette of polishes that I like to wear. I also feel like I've gotten a lot of red and pink from Zoya recently, um, so was excited to have something a little bit different. Honestly though, I liked all three of these. The Jelly Formula is so fun to work with. It's so easy. They're easy to build up. Um, every coat you kind of see a different face of these polishes and they're really glossy and really fun to wear um, in the warmer weather. 
Awesome, thanks so much for watching. This was a pretty quick video. If you liked it, if you wanna see more like it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and in the comments below, let me know which of these three you're most excited to try this summer. Thanks.